Welcome again. In this video, we'll start explaining what bi bivariate analysis is and we'll try to cover how to do analysis for two numerical variables. Uh, let's remind ourselves of the contents. We are now still doing data exploration and now we are here doing bivariate analysis and we'll try to learn uh, the numerical and numerical one first. We'll come to this categorical and categorical and numer categorical and numerical later. <coughs> now, bivariate analysis is the simul simultaneous or simultaneous analysis of two variables or attributes. So here, uh, b before we learned univariate analysis and we said it deals with variables one by one as the prefix uni indicates and now the prefix by indicates that we're treating or we're actually processing two variables at the same time. So here, simultaneous analysis of two variables. It explores the concept of relationship between any two variables, whether there's association, and if there is one, how strong is that association? If there's any difference, then how significant is that difference? Now, uh, because we have two types of variables, either numerical or categorical, and now we're dealing with them two at a time because, because it's bivariate analysis, then we can have numeric two numerical variables or two categorical variables or we can have one numerical and one categorical now for numerical and numerical we have two techniques or two ways we can use scatter plots or we can use linear correlation scatter plots a scatter plot is a useful visual representation for the relationship between two numerical variables or attributes it's actually usually uh, drawn before working out a linear correlation or fitting a regression line. So it just tells you, gives us a feeling of the data, you know, what is the relationship between these two variables, these two numerical variables. The resulting pattern indicates the type and strength of the relationship, yes, either linear maybe or nonlinear. And maybe we can add more information to the two dimensional scatter plot. For example, we might, you know, give points some labels with a code or a color to indicate you know, the, the level of a third variable. Maybe we can also, if we have several numerical variables, then we can compare them two at a time. We can build what we know as a scatter plot matrix. We can have a matrix of all the variables and we can plot each two against each other as we're going to see in the next two slides. Now, this is an example of a scatter plot. We have in the x-axis some months in business, so this is probably about some uh, companies, months in business and the y, the y axis is the total balance and here we can see just a distribution or uh, uh, every blue dot here as you can see represents maybe a company or something you know this one for example has been in the business for over 200 months and the, the balance is sort of maybe one thousand dollars or something um, the number of months looks actually quite large here, so I can't imagine a company being in business for 1800 months, but uh, this is just an example of to show you how it, this actually works. So this one here is being, for example, in the business for 400 months and the balance is above $80,000 as you can see. Here, for example, using a scatter plot, scatter plot matrix, we put uh, uh, variables like this in X and Y and we plot them against each other. So for example here we have weight, oxygen and runtime. We can weight against weight will be a diagonal line. Uh, just a histogram here but it should be a diagonal line. We have here weight against oxygen, weight against runtime and now uh, we have weight against oxygen, weight against runtime. For this and this or this and this they are equivalent just the X and Y axis will swap so if you notice it's actually some sort of rotation of the two or maybe just a mirror around the diagonal axis these two figures are exactly the same but you can see that the, if you draw a line there then this one is a mirror of this just the sort of uh, because X and Y axis swap yes the second way is using linear correlation. Linear correlation, it quantifies the strength of a linear relationship between two numerical variables. So here, we're concerned about a linear relationship and we try to quantify it. We're trying to have a value so we can describe that relationship. Is it strong? Is it weak? Uh, 
when there is no correlation between two variables there's no tendency for the values of one quantity to increase or decrease with the values of the second one what that means is that we're trying to check whether for example if I have two numerical variables if I increase the first one does the, ac the, the, the other one increase with that or decrease with that or it does not change at all what happens this is what we mean by linear relationship and this is what we mean by here uh, there's no tendency for the values of one quality to increase or decrease when there's no correlation yes so the way we do it is um, let's assume that we have two variables for uh, data for two variables x and y yes we compute the various of a variance of x the variance of y and then we compute the covariance between x and y I'm assuming you're familiar with these equations y bar and x bar are just the means and n is the number of points and then we compute r which is the covariance of x and y over the square root of variance of x times the variance of y and now r that value is the linear correlation r it only measures the strength of a linear relationship and is always between z uh, minus 1 and plus 1 so it only measures the strength and the value of r will always be between minus 1 and plus 1 minus 1 means perfect negative linear correlation which means if we increase the first variable the second variable will decrease with the same amount and plus 1 means perfect positive correlation and 0 means no linear correlation 0 that means there's no change in the second variable when the first one changes plus 1 means the second variable will change positively by the same amount or the same ratio or the same percentage as the first value as the first variable now let's have an example let's say we have data about temperature and humidity notice numerical values for the two we compute the variance for the temperature we compute the humidity I'm sorry the variance for the humidity and that's straightforward to use we just compute the mean which is the sum over the count the number of points the mean for both of them and we compute the variance just a quick reminder of the equations here the summation of x minus x bar square the x bar is the uh, variance I'm um, sorry is the mean and then we divide by n the number of points we do that for the two we find that the variance for temperature is 40.10 for humidity is 98.23 you can use calcul you calculate it if you want just an, as an exercise and then after that we compute the covariance the equation is here covariance of x and y summation of x minus x bar times y minus y bar over n n is the number of points again compute the covariance and then we compute the correlation 0 0.32 remember when we said if it's so r is always or the correlation is always between minus 1 and plus 1 plus 1 perfect positive 0 no correlation minus 1 perfect negative 0.31 is positive but not that strong so there's a weak linear correlation between temperature and humidity which means when when temperature increases humidity tends to increase to some extent not always but it tends to increase 0.31 Thank you very much uh, for watching this. I'm going to stop here. In the next video, I will be covering uh, more on bivariate analysis and I'll be explaining categorical versus categorical analysis. Thanks again and I'll see you next time.